All right, let's find the centroid of this shape. So we want to find the centroid of the shaded area. And so this is shaded, uh, but but it's kind of uh, it's got kind of got two shapes cut out of it. You see, this half circle is cut out. This rectangle is cut out. How can we handle things that are cut out? Uh, we can either subtract their x tilde a, and that's really what we need to do. If we are x bar is summation of x tilde a over summation of a y bar, summation of y tilde a over summation of a, then we're going to sum up all of the solid object. We're going to subtract out um, the the areas that are cut out. And so this is what I do. I would just give it a negative area. Just if something is cut out, give it a negative area. Okay, let's let's so I would say that this is really a solid purple. So let me break this up. You see how I like to do these tables, this table right here. All right. Shape number 1 is a solid rectangle right here. Shape number two is a solid triangle. And then shape number three, let me do it in green. Shape number three is a negative semicircle. And in blue, shape number four is a negative uh, rectangle right there. So I like to do section, area, x tilde, x tilde times a of each of those, uh, y tilde, y tilde a. All right, so shape number one, this solid purple rectangle right here, its area, it would be 12 by 10, yeah, 12 by 10. Its centroid is right at the middle, so the x would be 6, the y would be 5. And so when I multiply those uh, together, uh, 7, 20, and 600. 7, 20, and 600. All right, so that's a solid purple rectangle. Let's look at the solid pink triangle. What's the area of a triangle? One half base. Now look carefully. The base right there is 6. The height is 10. Now the x tilde and y tilde. So the x location, if this base is 6, then the x would be 2 from here and 4 from there, right? It is break it up into thirds, and it's one third. It's closer to the left than the right because the left side is the taller side. But it's already 12 off of the wall. So 12 plus another 2, 14. Y'all getting that? 14. Now the y would be closer to the bottom than it is to the top. Uh, it's one third. This whole height is 10. Uh, so it would be 10 thirds from the top. 20, that's just starting to done. 10 thirds from the bottom. 20 thirds from the top. Just take that length, divide it by thirds, and it's, it's one third from, and we're measuring all of these from the origin. Right, measuring all these from the origin. That's why we had to take that 2 and add 12 to it because we're measuring from here. <clears throat> the y bar was already measuring from the origin. So there we go. So multiply those through, and we have an x tilde a of 420. Uh, this is 100. All right, the green half circle, what would its area Right, this is an area we're cutting out. We're not cutting out a line, we're cutting out an area. So the area that we're cutting out is one half of the whole circle. The whole circle would be pi r squared. So one half pi r squared is the area we're cutting out. Since we're cutting it out, let's put a negative right here. Since we're cutting it out, let's put a negative. And then let's let's act like we do for every other one, all right? We just have that negative there. So maybe when we multiply it together, maybe it ends up being a negative. Sometimes you could have a negative area, but if you have a negative um, coordinate, then it's negative times negative. Your x tilde a might turn out positive. All right, so negative 1 half pi r squared. It's x tilde. Where is the centroid of that? 
Uh, go back and look at our um, Central Order Moment of Inertia. Uh, we're looking at not this one right here. We're looking at this this one right here. The area, uh, the sorry, the um, centroid is at 4r over 3 pi from the bo bottom. 4r over 3 pi. This is at 4r over 3 pi from the bottom. But but is but it is at the middle. It's symmetric. It's at the middle from here. This is 3. 3 plus another 3. All right, so it is 6 from here, but 4r over 3 pi from there. Multiply that together. My x tilde a is negative 84.8. Multiply that together. My y tilde a is negative 18. All right, and then let's subtract the base that this um, rectangle we're cutting it out. We're cutting it out. The rectangle has a base of 2. Height of 4, so negative 8, right? Negative 2 times 4. The location is right here. Now, don't tell me 1. Tell me that it is 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1. Or maybe I should have come up from the top. It's just 12. The x tilde is just 12. The y tilde, it's 2 from the bottom, but it's another 2 from here, the y tilde is 4. Multiply those together, negative 96, and be careful with the, the negative, don't forget the negative. Positive 4 times negative um, 8 is negative 32. Alright, and then sum up this column, 128. Now be careful, positive 120, positive, what, 30, negative that one, negative that one, I've got 128, Positive, positive, minus, minus, 959, 6, 700, minus 18, minus 32, 650. So x bar is summation of x tilde a over summation of a. y bar, summation of y tilde a over summation of a. So this would be 959 over 128, 7.49. This would be 650 over 128. Uh, 5.07 x bar y bar you could just box this in right there all right so take a step back and look at what we did the main thing right if you make this make this table if you if you don't mind uh, so that you can organize everything if you're cutting something out just give it a negative area and do everything the same give it a negative area and do everything the same and then when you go to multiply this together, be careful. Does it have one negative, no negatives, two negatives? Just multiply those two numbers together. Negative 84.8. And then add up this column, that column, that column to get um, x tilde a divided by total area, y tilde a divided by the total area. All right, now, one thing don't, I'll caution you with, don't mix up your x's and your y's. Don't mix up your x's and your y's. Um, let's say, for instance, let's, let's look at this uh, rectangle that we're cutting out right here. Let's look at the, this rectangle that I'm cutting out. It's right there. Do you see that my x is going to be this 12, right? And my y is going to be 4. I've seen way too many people switch the x and the y. This, this, the centroid of that... Uh, triangle. My x is going to be 14. My y is going to be 10 thirds. Uh, don't switch those and mix them up. You kind of make sure that your answer makes sense. Does it make sense that my x location would be at 7.49? My y location would be at 5.07? Yeah, I think so. I think so. 7. Point, I don't know, right, right about there? Maybe Centroid would be right there. Okay. 